Oh yeah, we made it back. You know where I'm at by now. You recognize this place. Been training here a lot in this block. And yes, the work does not stop, ladies and gentlemen. Even though we are tapering, the work does not stop. Remember, I want to arrive at the starting line as fit as possible and as fresh as possible. So obviously when you're talking about tapering, you're talking about uh, decreasing your volume so your legs can freshen. But I'm not, I'm, we, we still got, I still have time to work with. What is it now when you're watching this? About 11 days to fine tune, refine, sharpen the legs, sharpen the mind. Uh, the aerobic base is basically set. Like you're not gonna really advance there too much, but I'm not afraid to put in some more work before Pike's Peak. So that's what I'm doing today. And yes, keyword is work. And question of the day, I like this one a lot. How, oh baby. How has long distance running taught you or infused into you, uh, you as a person, uh, the ethic of work or work ethic? Like, how have you, so I, what I'm getting at is when I say seek beauty, work hard, and love each other, that's what we're focused on today because I want to share with all of you where I, my angle and where I'm coming from when I say that every single day at the end of the vlog. Uh, I'm not just saying that for, I don't know, a catchy uh, motto or a catchy uh, way to end the vlog. I really, really mean it, all right? So today we're working. We're working on the uphill. Uh, we're getting close. This is not the last uphill, but we're getting closer. So thank you for being here. I can't wait to read your thoughts on work ethic down below in the comments, connecting it to long. Okay, one last point before we dive in, and I'm gonna start getting ready with a B-roll here. Uh, basically, for all the high schoolers out there, you have no idea the gift that you are being given right now as a cross country or long distance runner in track. I'm telling you, the, you're, you're setting yourself up for success. I had no idea when I was in high school, even a little bit in college, um, what kind of uh, wisdom and again, work ethic I was being given as a long distance runner because it's sacrifice. It's the pain cave. It's doing things you don't want to do. Like nobody really wants to go out and run 20 miles on Sunday morning when everyone else is sleeping in. It's like in college. So all I'm saying is keep going, especially for all the young folks out there. Like you're setting yourself up for long-term success. I promise, I promise your work ethic is gonna be through the roof. And don't hesitate when you're in a future job interview after college or maybe after high school uh, to tell them that you are a long distance runner and that this has taught you so much about what it means to sacrifice and to work hard. All right, let's get, let's get rolling. Work, work. ethic less talk more action get the job done whether it's with your cross training if you're injured getting good food in you uh, taking care of your teammates you know if you're still on a team it's I like less talk more action that's I like my that's what remember last week I 
told you what I was telling myself on uh, a 14er run last week. Well, today it's uh, less talk, more action. Get the job done. Let's work, let's work. And that is right, working hard, working hard. We're not done working yet in this training block and not done working in the Saucony Mad River TRs. That was the shoe I, a couple people have been asking, what is this Saucony shoe that Seth is wearing out on the trails? It's called the Saucony Mad River TR. Yes, it is available down below from Running Warehouse. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now I'm only at 33 miles in the shoe, so it's not quite time for a full review but it's just, it's such a comfortable ride. And today I was going back and forth between Solomon or Saucony and I decided to go uh, Saucony because I was wearing the weighted vest, the 20 pound weighted vest today. And I wanted to just have a little more protection for my knees, my ankles, and just absorb a little more of that, especially the downhill pounding with the weighted vest on. And yes, today's run was 14 miles, 22 kilometers, uh, 5,000 feet of vertical gain and loss or 1,500 meters of vertical gain and loss. And how did it feel? Felt solid, felt, okay, so the last time I wore the vest, I went, I went eight miles, so today was 14, so not quite double. And just so you know, that was the last time I'll wear the vest in this training block, don't worry, uh, but I'm feeling pretty darn strong. In fact, those four, so I did four strides and then some forearm drills afterward, that's what I was doing by my car there after the run and as soon as i took the vest off and i did those four strides like i was like oh i was ready to rock and roll something like something fierce so anyway solid day up on gray's peak today and let's dive into work ethic oh man i love it i love working hard i love just so you know we, true love and i we just got back from date night so i love leisure i love rest i love like good drinks and sitting around pools and sitting on beaches and just chilling like i love that but i also love working hard like i think it's it's a good to have a balance and just so you know a huge rainstorm is rolling in right now so if you hear the thunder i'm just looking out to make sure everything's all right out in my backyard um so it was an amazing day now where did i learn my work ethic definitely from my dad he was uh, a former runner now he's just a big time hiker and walker he doesn't run anymore he's in his early 60s now and uh, he ran Pikes Peak probably at least eight times, like the Pikes Peak Ascent. Uh, big, he was pretty uh, accomplished runner back in the day. He won a couple local uh, trail, but this is like back in the 70s and the 80s when trail running was not really at the top of everyone's to-do list, if you know what I mean, compared to today where there's a big, strong community of trail running. So he worked very hard at his career. He, so what did he do? He sold uh, life insurance. He helped people with investments, but he did it the right way. You know what I mean? He's, he worked for, I think, 32 years and then retired, and now he's enjoying the grandchildren. But I'm telling you, like, I, don't, I can only think of maybe one or two other people that I don't even know personally, but people that I've heard of who might approach my dad's work ethic. Um, even to this day in his retirement, taking care of all the grandkids, like going on adventures with him, like he just loves to do things. And anyway, so he passed that work ethic on to me. And frankly, as a seventh grader, as I, as I was transitioning away from soccer, uh, which I bet is the story for many runners out there, I was transitioning away from soccer because I could not kick a soccer ball. First of all, soaking wet, I weighed about 95 pounds. And so my legs were teeny tiny chicken legs and I could not kick a soccer ball from the corner kick to the goal. And like at that point in, in seventh grade, 
Sorry, just thought I heard thunder. We're good. Uh, at that point in seventh grade, I said, okay, I'm elim eliminating the soccer ball and we're just going to run. So that, anyway, that's how I got started into running. And my dad really invited me to start waking up at 5.30, 6 a.m. and go run with him before he went off to work. And that's what I did as a seventh grader and frankly haven't really stopped since. Now I've said it once and I'll say it again right now. There's really no luck in long distance running in my humble opinion. It comes down to these three variables for me. Yes, it, ha it helps to have a little bit of talent. A little bit of talent helps. Uh, a sound training plan, training philosophy really helps as well. And then number three, work ethic. Listen, we're not shooting pucks at a net and it hits the crossbar and bounces in. We're not doing a, an onside kick in football and the ball happens to bounce the right way or you hit a baseball and depending on how the dirt is groomed that day will determine on whether the ball rolls foul or rolls fair. I'm telling you, like a lot of other sports, I see it all the time. I, I don't know if, you don't have to call it luck. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but I just believe running comes down to your fitness and how well you trained and how hard you worked, okay? But balancing that, remember, walk the line between fitness and freshness. So I'm a big proponent of working hard. That's why I say it every day, and not just in running, but in our careers, in our family life, in our relationships, in taking care of the house, in being, frankly, and this is, I'd like to work better, be better at this as well, but being a strong uh, contributor to our communities that we live in, you know? I, I don't know, I just I gotta find more time to figure out how to do that, but um, so anyway, that's what I'm talking about when I say work hard at the end of every vlog, like I, 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 I wanna live by it, and I want you guys to hold me accountable to live by that, and I'll do my best through Demore Global Running on Strava to help you live by that as well, if you want to, and I think is for success in long distance running, it really does come down to that, that consistency, and that work ethic. And so with that said, yes, that is the last vest run. I didn't necessarily want to put that vest on today, but I wanted to work hard today. So I said, okay, let's, let's do it one more time in this training bar. Let's do this. All right, let's do it. And that's what I did. And I got it done. And it's like all about that up here between the, between the ears to make that happen. So I love you guys. And if you want to dive a little more into mental toughness, click on that box on the left. And if you want to click on uh, the box on the right, That'll take, take you to a vlog where I really went to the well in a hard, hard long run. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.